We are now just numbing Leia's lips so that she doesn't feel any pain when she has this procedure done. I'm already feeling the numbing tingling. So I'm here at Facial Artistry today with Dr. Cusman, amazing Dr. Cusman. <laughs> and we're going to be doing lip fillers today. I'm super excited. How about you? I'm really excited and I'm going to explain the technique that we're going to use for you today. Uh, we've numbed your lips already with a numbing cream which we've had on for about 10 minutes. And your lips feel numb? Yeah, they do. Like, I can't feel them. Am I drooling? <laughs> no, not really. And we're going to be using a technique with a cannula. This is a cannula that we use that is a blunt of needle with an opening just below the point, which is a much safer route of doing the procedure. We will only require four little tiny sticks for both the upper and the lower lips. The advantage of using this technique is that we can fan the product in the lips so it gives a very smooth, con nice smooth appearance and a nice smooth feel to the lips and a nice smooth contour to the lips as opposed to injecting little boluses into the lips and then trying to massage those which makes the lips look a lot more irregular and is not quite as safe. So you ready to go? Yeah, I am. Okay. So excited. I'm nervous. So, and if she's a little nervous, so we usually give her some little balls to hold. There we go. The worst part of the procedure is creating the initial tiny stick. This initial tiny stick right over here. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, look how great you are. Terrific. Wonderful. We're now in the lip, and I'm going along the actual lip border, the Lillian Canal. So we're going to highlight what we call the white rod of the lip, a little injection as we go along in a retrograde fashion. Are you feeling anything? Mm -mm. Great. You're doing a great job. And a little more central. You're a perfect patient, that's for Thank sure. You. Are you feeling much pain? Mm -mm. I don't feel anything. <laughs> that's great. Open your mouth just a little bit. Good. You don't want to massage too much because the lips tend to swell. You massage too much. Just making sure that this is in the correct place. Okay. Let's introduce this very good. Very patient. Okay. okay, just a little bit tender here. In the canal. How are you doing? Good. Any pain? Just a little bit on this side. This one I didn't feel any pain at all. But this is this is more very pressure? Very little, okay.
open for me. So far so good. The lips are going to be very swollen for a couple mm -hmm. of weeks. And when you go home, your lips are a little bit numb. So if you're going to be drinking or eating anything hot, I want you to feed with your fingers first. Okay. Good. Open. That feels really good. Feel more pouty. Can you tell already? Mm -hmm, I can feel it. Good. little membranes mm -hmm. yeah, that you feel me go through. You can I see can it. I can feel the product going in when you're squeezing it. Yeah. Okay, one more last little tiny sting here. And one, two, three. That's it. That's the worst part. <laughs> And it's four of those, it's worth it, right? Rather than so getting ridiculous. a bunch more sticks in the lips, right? Mm, yeah. Excellent. You're really an excellent patient. Thank you. Yeah. 
again. I feel when I'm what you taste. <laughs> <laughs> Any side effects? That's another question we were asked. Have you had any side effects? Anything that you've felt? Mm -mm. The only things that can happen is you can get some bruising, um, which is uncommon. There's a lot of swelling which will occur over the next two days, and there can be some irregularity, but that after, that takes about two weeks. The final result really is at two weeks. That's when you can see where the lips really look. Uh, that's the final end result, and that's the time that you just have to be patient because it will fluctuate a little bit in between that time. It has to like set in. Correct. And if the procedure is obviously not done properly, one can penetrate a blood vessel and one can get a lot of hemorrhaging. One can block a blood vessel and you can get a, a problem with the lip where you can get necrosis or the lip dies, so to speak, uh, which is very, very rare. If, uh, if your doctor knows where they're injecting, you should not have that problem. And this is one syringe. We used one syringe, yes. We used one third of the syringe in each of the upper lips. So there was one third in this right upper lip, one third in the right and left in the left upper lip, then one third in the lower lip. There's gonna be so much more room for me to put more makeup or <laughs> lipstick sure. on my lips. There we go. Just gonna be a little bit of a gloss there. A bit of shine. The ratio of the lips should be two thirds, the upper lip should be two thirds of the lower lip. So you always want the lower lip to be a little bit bigger than the upper lip. By a third. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Uh -huh. All right, guys, say bye. 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 Thank you for coming in, really appreciate it. Uh, this is Facial Artistry uh, by Barry Cussman and uh, Aesthetics and uh, we thank you for having coming in and having us done by us and having the trust and the faith in us. Thank you. And, you guys uh, are amazing. I love beautiful. everything. Everything you guys do for me. <laughs> everything pleasure. looks amazing. I trust you guys like 100%. I would not go to any other doctor. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.